Inhale. Exhale, fingertips down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, fingertips stay down. Inhale, straighten leg. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lunge, left foot back, lower, inhale, back bend, exhale, down dog, keep breathing. Inhale, right foot forward, drop left heel, warrior two. Remember, set everything up proper. Into arching, hold there. Left hand, right hand up, left hand down and back. Into side angle, Parshvakasana. Right fingertips down to the outside of the right foot or inside, or maybe elbow to knee with the left arm up and over, hold. Head and neck is still active. You're not dropping into the shoulder. Inhale, arching. Exhale. Big inhale and arching. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, right foot back, all the way down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward, drop right heel. Warrior two. Hold and breathe. Into arching. Side angle, remember hand can come down inside or outside or elbow to knee, right arm up and over. This head and neck is still active. So not just lazily dropping everything. Add the movement. Inhale. Exhale, extend right arm. Inhale, reach left hand up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All the way through. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Hold and breathe. Look at hands. Bring the hands over to the left hand side of the mat. Both hands close to each other. Bring the right foot forward for low lunge lizard. Dropping your hips, maybe here, 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 here. Lots of options. Hold and breathe. Try not to do this. Hips down, chest stays open. Right foot goes back, hold plank. Move the hands over to the right, left foot comes forward. Left foot goes back, hold. Exhale lower. Inhale back bend. Exhale lower. Curl toes, inhale push up. Exhale, push back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Lift hands, lift legs. Find floating cobra. Hold and breathe. Release, find low plank. Either palms down or interlace, forearms to mat, up to you this way or this way, curl toes, 
Tuck tailbone, hold and breathe. Release. Floating cobra. Little plank again. Tailbone's tucked. Knees are locked. You're sturdy, not sagging. You can do this with knees down too. Release. Floating cobra. And again, low plank. Release, find Sphinx, take a few breaths here, not too long. Up on the hands and knees, take a few rounds of cat cow, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Neutralize, right arm, left leg. Out to the sides. Release, remember you're holding this probably a little longer than three or four breaths, maybe five breaths. Left arm, right leg. Out to the sides. Release. Sit back to child's pose. Take some big breath. Just three. Inhale up on the hands and knees, curl toes, exhale back to down dog. Inhale plank, exhale lower. Inhale back bend, cobra or up dog, exhale lower. Inhale push up, exhale push back. Inhale plank, exhale lower. Inhale back bend, exhale lower. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale, bend knees, look at hands. Inhale, walk step or hop the feet around the hands. Find a squat. Keep breathing. Simple wrist stretch, just flip them around. Sit back, arms under legs, give them a squeeze. Legs active, feet active, press through heels, draw balls of feet back, hands by your side in Dandasana. So you're set up there, interlace the fingers, lock the elbows, big circles. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, stirring the pot. Inhale, exhale. Working all the core, helps with digestion, works all those lower organs, works all the core, side, upper, middle, lower. Now reverse the circle. Maybe doing this for 10 breaths on each side. Lie back, arms overhead, three 
big breaths, reach in both directions. Take a big inhale. Exhale, reach up, then for the toes. Inhale back. Exhale up. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You know, reverse the breath. Take a big inhale. Full exhale. Inhale up, reach for the toes, then exhale back. Exhale back. Slow and controlled. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, right knee into right armpit, big breaths. You would stay here again, three to five breaths. Now take a twist over to the left, carry that right knee over to the left, right arm reaches out, keep breathing deep. If you want to, extend your right leg, you know, you can use a strap or grab your toe, just, you know, making it a different dimension, a different dynamic. Getting into the IT band if you didn't do the previous stretch in the other video. Up to you. Back in, squeeze, release, and switch. You hold it for three to five breaths, then you take a twist to the right, extend the left arm. Same deal. If you want to extend the leg, it's left up to you. Squeeze it in. Back to bridge, just classic posture. It's good for you. Did some core stuff there. You want to stretch everything back out. Lift the hips. Tailbone still tucked, pushing away from you. You're getting that stretch to the front of the body. Just five breaths. Same deal if you want to move into that simple hip opener on each side for five breaths if you didn't do it before. It's a good time to do it. It's always a good one. You can do this at the end of any practice really. It's nice to give the hips a little opening before you relax in Savasana. Same deal. Move over to the wall. Maybe relax with the legs up the wall. Maybe prop the hips up a little bit. Maybe you do a shoulder stand. I leave that up to you. But relax. Take a few breaths here for a couple minutes, you know, breathe deep, chest expanding and contracting just like you did before, allowing the kind of practice to slowly slip away. And then when you're ready, take your sadasana again. Remember to always take your sadasana, practice your corpse pose, relax. If you did all three of those practices in a row, I would suggest, it's just a suggestion, but take, you know, a good sadasana, five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Don't drift away. If you did two of them, at least spend five minutes. If you just did one of those practices, just take a couple minutes, two or three minutes, and just relax in Savasana. And that's pretty much it, friends. There's three simple practices that you can do. You know, you can call it A, B, C. You can call them all A. You can call them all B, all C. One, two, three, it doesn't matter. Anybody can do those if they just listen to themselves and practice mindfully. They're not that challenging. You know, again, always an honor and privilege. Namaste. I'll come back in a little bit and I'll um, have a little reading from Eckhart Tolle to close up a practice. I think it's a pretty good reading and it's pretty relevant. All right. See ya.